Welcome back. When last we spoke, I was introducing Fauvism. You were introduced to the wild beast Henri Matisse, and you learned about the Fauvist use of vivid, unnatural color. Today we will be exploring another modern art style, Cubism. Cubism was a way that artists like Pablo Picasso and George Brock found to show multiple viewpoints or perspectives of an object on a flat two-dimensional surface. They endeavored to challenge the way items were seen and perceived. For example, in some of Picasso's work, you can see the front and side of a face at the same time. Picasso also liked to mix up and distort objects like the features on a face or the items on a table. In Brock's still life paintings, some items look like you are viewing them from above, while others appear face on. Objects were simplified, often to the point where they became unrecognizable and details were eliminated almost entirely. Also, unlike traditional still life paintings, there's no illusionistic depth in cubist work. Everything appears on the same visual plane. Brock also liked to simplify his color palette when creating cubist artwork. He chose neutral tones instead of the object's true color. You will find that much of his work reduces objects to geometric shapes, hence the term cubism. Actually, it was Matisse, wild beast, who accidentally coined the term cubism while referring to Picasso's little cubes. Critic Louis Varso borrowed this term while talking about Brock's paintings, saying that he reduces everything to geometric shapes, cubes. Vosel sure likes to give names to art styles. Remember, he's the one who gave the Fauvists their name. The chaotic appearance of cubism works to Picasso's advantage in his work Guernica, which was about the Spanish Civil War. Looking at the artwork, the viewer can almost feel the brutality and despair of war. Even though his work is abstract, you can pick out many recognizable objects, such as a bull, a horse, lamps, people, and a sword. There were two types of cubism, analytical and synthetic. Guernica, like other examples shown so far, is an example of analytical cubism, objects broken down into different parts. Synthetic cubism, like this work by Brock, uses found objects like newspaper as part of the abstract painting. This was the birth of collaged artwork, a work composed of separate elements pasted together. Picasso and Brock worked so closely in the cubist style that it's often difficult to tell their paintings apart. Cubism wasn't solely painting. Artists like Archipenko, Duchamp Vallon, and Lipschitz created cubist sculpture. These sculptures also sought to simplify forms down to their basic geometric qualities. So how did people respond to cubism? Like many changes in art styles, it upset the general public because they weren't used to seeing anything like it. It even disturbed some of art critics. However, those in the avant-garde, who embraced change and innovation in art, saw it as the very future of art as they knew it. 